So for those of you guys who've been following my vlogs, you know that I am getting Invisalign. I'm getting it with my dentist. I don't know if you guys recognize her. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sol, my sister, for those of you guys who are actually new to my channel and don't recognize her. Um, I'm really, really excited. I will insert the clips now of what my teeth are gonna look like. Transform like crazy that they can show you this. Um, so Son is gonna clean my teeth now. She's gonna put the attachments onto my teeth and then we are gonna take it from there. Um, and I have, I think 19 weeks we are saying roughly, um, but obviously it depends because like the length of time we have each tray is like seven to 10 days, if I'm not mistaken. It's one week. Is it, does it not vary? No. Oh, so then it's meant to be 19 weeks in total. I'm so, so excited and um, obviously, if you guys are interested in Invisalign, I really recommend it. Sol has the best prices in London, hands down. It's £2,000 for just your top arch or £2,995 for top and bottom arch. Actually, it doesn't really matter which way around it is. One arch is 2000 and both arches is 2995 I really recommend that you guys do your homework and look into the different types of treatments that people are offering because a lot of people will kind of sell it as Invisalign but it's not Invisalign it's Smart Direct Club um, so make sure that when people are quoting you prices that they are transparent that's one of the reasons why not being biased but I think Sol such a great dentist is Thank she's you. super transparent with her prices um, and she really talks to you about what to expect and um, wants to give you the best results so our journey is going to be um, Invisalign whitening. Um, how much do you charge for whitening? 250. Yeah. 250 pounds um, for whitening. Um, and those are, you just put it inside your Invisalign trays anyway. Um, so that's really good. And then I'm going to have some slight bonding at the end just to perfect it all. And I'm so, so, so excited. So I'm glad that you guys are coming on this journey with me. I'm smiling under my mask. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, my little it's queen. So Guys, that was a TikTok that I didn't upload because it was so awful. <laughs> I'm was thinking, I might put it on here, it but you can laugh at us. <laughs> but it was actually awful. <laughs> but um, we're having a little afternoon tea the Dorchester. Uh, I am obviously blur. This is the hair situation. This is horse girl dreams. Yeah. 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 Literally, and it's like a bit of like a, a very blur outfit. Like you know, I yeah. wouldn't usually wear this, right? But it's like a purple kind of printed velvet. Yeah. And Nat, let's show your dress as well. Okay. Nat is obviously Serena. I went for like a Zimmerman vibe. Love it. And, and you've got the Birkin. Show us the Birkin because that's actually the star of the show. It's not. Oh, oh hey girl. She? Hello. She? Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> We're calling her Princess. Oh, stop it. <laughs> obviously, I was talking about you, Nat, not the bag. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> so, um, by the way, this is me with when I take my retainers out. I take it out before I'm about to eat or drink something that's not water. Um, when I say retainers, I mean my Invisalign, sorry. Uh, yeah, this is what I look like when the Invisalign is out. So if I have to have any drink that is not water, so I'm going to have a coffee, I just take it off. Um, so I've just taken them off now, but as you can see, it's like not really that visible. Um, I got them put in a week ago, um, just over a week ago. Um, so that's why there's like a little bit of a time gap in that, like my teeth have actually moved a bit since the start of the vlog because I've had like 10 days of Invisalign now. Um, but yeah, you can't really see unless I come like super close it in your face but even a lot of times when I'm wearing my Invisalign a lot of my friends say that they can't even tell that I'm wearing it until I'm like oh yeah my Invisalign and also it gives me a really cute pout I'm not gonna lie so I don't mind anyway Sol my sister got me this a pinch of Nomberg because I keep telling her oh I really want to buy this pinch of Nomberg and to be honest it takes two clicks on the internet to buy it so I don't know why I haven't bought it for myself yet but I think I was just trying to see because there's like a couple of versions and I didn't know which one I wanted, um, but um, she got me this one, it's hardback um, from W. H. Smith and um, I'm going to pick a healthy recipe and make it for myself um, so we can make that together, but first let me make some coffee. 
Um, how hideous is this mug, mum? It's, it's perfect. It's I ugly. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's so... Do you like it? It's I hate nice. it. I like really like cool mugs and stuff. Like when I move out, I'm gonna like have my own like shelf with like a collection <laughs> of mugs. And like anyone who like That's wants nice. to bring me like a gift or like... Um, Goes on holiday, yeah. Can buy mine. Yeah, exactly, and bring it, like, bring it back for me or something. So I want like really funky mugs. I'm gonna be a mug collector. This <laughs> is really nice. Really nice idea. Um, also, anyone who watched vlog one of January, my mum got some more Nespresso pods. So thank you. That's not my favorite one. I just thought we still have some more of my favorite one. Guys, I have no idea what this one is called. Oh, Chiaro, C-H-I-A-R-O. These are my favorite Nespresso pods. I don't know why. I just feel like it's not too strong. It's not too weak. And I just like it as a simple latte. A nice test. Yeah, I think this one tastes the best out of all of them. And I don't like the ones that have like caramel and chocolate. We had a nice was. coffee in uh, Athens. In Athens, yeah, in the Four Seasons. Four Seasons. That, that was genuinely, I think, the best coffee I've had in my life. Yes. I am thinking the same. Yeah. Like, it just was so soft. It was really nice. Yeah. So, this, this is the recipe that I am going to make. Um, because, technically... Out of all the other recipes, this is the only one that I actually had the ingredients for. Um, so I'm just going to put the ingredients together and we will get started. fully said 10 minutes and it took me an hour um that's just because i'm not really you know the first time you make something i don't really know what goes into it by the time i get all the ingredients together and blah 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 but let's try it anyway and see if it was worth it oh my god this tastes like a main dish this doesn't even taste like a breakfast or like whatever oh my god not gonna lie, I really thought it was gonna be rubbish, I have to lie to you guys. <laughs> Not that I would lie to you, but you know, have a little giggle. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna go sit down and enjoy this. <gasps> wait, one more bite for you guys, just to make sure that I just, like, that wasn't a lucky fluke, wait. So I went to my clinic in Harley Street and afterwards stopped by Selfridges, which is right next door pretty much. And they have my favourite ramen place in their food court. Their food is just so good and it's quite realistic for me to actually eat out a meal of the day. Um, and this is my favourite ramen right here. It's the spicy one. It tastes so good. You guys should check it out. So I just finished the gym, it's 5.30pm, I'm going to pop to Waitrose, there's a couple of stuff I want to get before my nights and then uh, I'm going to go home and maybe nap for an hour if I can, but realistically like I have to get ready for work 
like start getting ready for work at 8 p.m so if i'm lucky i'll get like an hour nap but i don't even feel tired like the first night getting into the routine is horrible <laughs> so wish me luck so waitress shopping haul um i got some chicken kiosas some chicken breast to make this lighting is actually the epitome of awful um i got some philadelphia and lemon because i'm going to make some lemon creamy lemon chicken i think that's what it's called basically i looked up recipes in my new recipe book and it required this stuff some pasta because surprisingly we've run out of pasta which hasn't happened since pre-lockdown basically some courgettes some carrots um some corn chicken nuggets these are my favorite like they're so um they taste a lot like actual like chicken nuggets um but i just feel like they're a bit healthier like i like corn and i do feel like it's a healthier alternative some chicken stock some coconut milk and chopped tomato to make a curry some spinach and just some like sauces like sriracha and worcestershire sauce so I'm going to attempt to make a prawn curry. Basically, it's a chicken curry in the recipe book, but I'm gonna make the prawn version because my mum has bought loads of prawns, like king prawns, and I wanna have prawns. So I'm gonna try and make it now, and I'll show you how it turns out. This is my version coming to a boil. This is the seasoning for my mum's version, which is technically my dad's version, but she's the one who's uh making it my dad makes amazing prawns guys um but this is um the peanut butter curry so this is the recipe that i'm using the peanut butter chicken curry but i've just obviously swapped the chicken for prawns um so yeah i'm really excited to try it i've made quite a lot of it as well so i really hope it actually tastes good um so much goes into a really good curry and i'm lucky we have so many seasoning stuff at home because like my family cooks a lot and stuff um so it's yeah teaching me to season more than just my usual salt black pepper and chili flakes um not but I've, i think this is my first time making a curry like from scratch like where i haven't bought like those waitrose packet sauces that are fresh ones that make me feel like i've made a curry from scratch but i actually haven't like this is my first time like opening the top chopped tomato tin and blah 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 blah. so i feel like this is quite an accomplishment by itself my mum made rice for everyone so obviously i'm just gonna take from that rice um yeah We'll see, we'll see how it goes, fingers crossed. So this dish took me almost as long to make as the breakfast, um, maybe even less time surprisingly, but it tasted divine. I had to go off to my night shift so I couldn't taste test it. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this or what I eat in a day video. If you wanna see more, then leave me a comment down below and I'm happy to film for you. And I will catch you in my next vlog. Love you. Mwah.